Good afternoon, class. Welcome, everybody. My name is Coach Clark, as you know. Um, I want you all to come into class and take a seat in your spot. And then we are going to talk about something that I think that you are going to find interesting. So everyone, come on in, sit down, and once you get settled, I'll begin. Okay, all right guys, now that everybody is sat down and in their spot, I need you all to give me your attention and listen to what I'm saying because what we're talking about today is very important. So, I want to ask y'all, raise your hand if anybody has an answer. Um, does anybody know anything about fire? It's okay, you guys can tell me whatever it is that you know about fire. So go ahead, raise your hands, and I'm going to call on you each individually for you to tell me what it is that you know about fire. You. Okay. All right. So he knows that fire is very hot. It's very dangerous. Um, let's see what somebody else has. You, over there. Okay. She said that... Um, if you touch fire, it hurts you. Um, and it can hurt for a really long time. Okay, anybody else? We're going to see if anybody else has one more. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. So you sa she said that she saw uh, something catch on fire before. And she was surprised at how quickly it, it burned. So um, that's good for now. Uh, so yeah, the things that you guys all said, they're right. Uh, fire is a very dangerous thing. Uh, it's not good to be combined with people. It can hurt us. And, you know, unfortunately it's not likely, but it could happen. We could have a fire in our school and we have a lot of kids in here. So if we have a fire, then we all need to know what it is that we need to do as a class. So everyone can get out of the gym quickly and safely and in an orderly manner okay so um if there's a fire in the school and in, in in the school then we need to go over our already created uh fire drill okay so when there's a fire drill you guys are going to drop all of your equipment okay we don't care about anything that we have just drop it put it on the floor wherever you are we're not going to go get our backpacks. We're not going to go get anything, okay? Um, we're all going to calmly and calmly fast walk over to line up in front of the door that leads outside, okay? Because we want to get out of the building, okay? So you're going to drop your stuff. You're going to go over there. You're going to line up. I'm going to make sure that nobody is left in the hall. And then you guys wait there for me. I'm going to quickly come over. I'm going to lead you out and we're going to line up outside far away from the building so everyone is safe. Okay? So just give me a moment, y'all. Just stay there for a minute and I'm going to show you exactly what it's going to look like. Okay? So this is me playing uh, with the football because we're practicing catching and throwing. Okay? Okay, so there's fire drill. So I'm going to drop my ball immediately. I'm not going to take it with me. I'm going to fast walk. We're not running because we don't want to hurt each other. I'm going to fast walk over to the back exit that leads outside of the gym. And I'm going to wait there until myself, the coach, the teacher, tells us all to go. Okay? And then I'm going to lead everybody out or I'm going to pick somebody to lead us out to the spot that you will then know where to go. And we're all going to wait outside. Okay? Then once a principal or somebody in the school tells us that it's safe to go back in the school, if there's no fire, then we can go back. Okay? So, I want this row right here, only this row, to practice it. Okay? So, uh, when I say stand up, I want you guys in this row to stand up and walk quickly over to the back door. And then we're going to see how well you do that. Okay? Because we need to line up in a nice orderly line. All right? So, fire drill, this row, go. Okay, everybody see that? Did, did y'all see anything wrong with how they did that? Raise your hand if you saw anything wrong. 
yeah, there were some of them were kind of pushing and shoving. We can't really have that, okay? Because we need to be safe. We don't want someone to get hurt and then be stuck or have to be carried out of the building if there's a fire, okay? So now I'm going to give everybody the opportunity uh, to practice together, all right? So when I say fire drill, we're all going to stand up and walk to that back door, quickly walk to the back door and safely line up one behind the other facing forward, okay? All right, fire drill. Okay, all right, now everybody's ni nicely and quickly lined up by the uh, exit to leave the building. Everybody, let's go. All right, everybody, this is where we're gonna wait outside while the fire drill goes on and we wait for clearance to come back in the building. Um, now we're gonna go back inside. Okay, we're inside. All right, guys, um, so if I ever yell fire drill, this is what we're going to do. We're going to practice, okay? So, it's going to be for that. And it's also going to be if you hear a real fire drill going off, all right? So, we're going to play a game. And we're going to do a lesson. And if you all hear fire drill, you need to follow all the procedures that I just walked you through, okay? All right, so everybody, we're going to do this lesson. I already explained how to do it. So, let's go ahead and... Let's go. Okay, everybody's on the ball. They're running around. They're catching. They're throwing. It's really loud. Fire drill. Fire drill. Okay. And at this point, I'm just watching. Everyone, I see everyone drops their stuff. They quickly walk over to the back exit. They lined up. And I watch them go outside. Okay. We go outside. We wait. I bring them back in. All right. Okay, guys, you did a really good job at the fire drill, especially for your first time. So now that the fire drill has been practiced, um, I want to I want to uh, talk about some things that we could work on. Pretty much you guys fixed everything uh, because it's, it's a pretty easy thing to do. You all were working with each other, helping each other out if somebody didn't know what to do. Um, Maybe something that you guys could do, because I doubt anybody has a fire drill procedure at their house. Maybe when you guys get home, you can talk to your families and try to make a fire drill plan if something happens at your house so you guys know how to evacuate. Because it's possible that it could happen anywhere, so it's always good to be prepared. So go home, talk to your families, um, and see if, if they would like to do that with you. Now, somebody raise your hand and tell me what it is that you learned today. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, so she said that this was a good way to uh, to get out of the building when there's something bad like a fire because it's better to for everyone to be in orderly line than for everyone to be running and screaming and rushing out the door and someone getting hurt. So th essentially, that's that's the reason that we practice this fire drill because we need it to be safe. We can't be causing any more danger than there already is. So guys, um, that's the lesson that I have for you today. Um, you're going to be doing some fire drills in the future for the school. We might practice them on our own here in the gym just to make sure that you guys can uh, do it correctly. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, good job. Remember that this is, is not a game. It's very serious. Um, and yeah, good job. Thank you. Have a nice day.